on YouTube. Welcome back, guys. Heading out, it's Sunday today. Very nice, beautiful day out here in New York. I love the fall, honestly, and any, I think anybody that's into fashion, into clothes in general, just we love that transitional weather. When, when it gets a little bit cold and you can start layering and just like wear, wearing different pieces that you don't really get to wear during the summer, especially for menswear because we're so limited, like I like to tell you guys. So anytime that the fall comes around, it's just the layering, you know, the colors, you know, the different type of like shoes that you can wear, whether it's a pair of derby, some boots. So yeah, right now I just have on this uh, crop top sweatshirt by Sanjeev. I have this hat by Engineered Garments. It's just like things like this, like this hat, for example, I bought it so long ago, man. But I think in Montreal, I never get the chance to wear it because in most cases, it just gets too cold. And then this hat has just been sitting in my wardrobe, but like it's a beautiful hat by Engineered Garments, a really good brand. Shades up by a better feeling as usual, and then just your usual rings. I'm also gonna try to, we're gonna stay around Brooklyn today. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if there's any jewelry stores that I can try out. If this video does get uploaded on Thursday, I would love for you guys to suggest some jewelry stores that you guys are familiar with here in, Brook, uh, in, uh, in New York. I'm mostly looking for sterling silver. You guys know me, I love my sterling silver. So yeah, leave any shops that you may wanna suggest down in the comments below. What's going on guys? Alright, so I'm currently at Aimé Leon. Look at this beanie man. Sick, sick beanie. Wear it with these glasses right here. I'll show you guys the full outfit. Yeah, you can see like, I mean I don't have any white beanies, so this would definitely be ideal for Montreal, especially because it gets, it does get cold. But yeah, no, I think I'm gonna pick this up. It's crazy because I've kind of over the years slept on this brand and I mean the pieces are amazing man at the store right now it's a new store that they just opened in New York and beautiful beautiful beanie yeah I'm definitely gonna pick this one up so I'm also trying these uh, Crocs that they have beautiful colors they have a yellow one and a green one which the yellow one really stood out so and they kind of have like their sizes run from nine to nine and a half is one size and then ten to ten and a half so i tried the nine to nine and a half it's a little bit too tight um so i'm gonna try the ten ten and a half but they they really look they look really nice This is the this is the row line. As you can see, we're definitely not getting in. It's been like this since the morning, so there's definitely no point. I mean, it just doesn't. End. It doesn't. End. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this.
So, um, got some coffee, uh, Arabica, it's cold. Beautiful day outside. Um, so the plan today is to go around Williamsburg because basically I met this girl through IG that wants to show me some of her jewelry that she's been working on and we're looking to collaborate. So that should be interesting. And then I gotta meet up with this other guy that's designing some jackets that he wanted me to try on. Uh, it's around the same area. So most likely today I'm gonna be staying around uh, Williamsburg and uh, Bushwick, I think. And then in the evening, we have some dinner reservation, which should be nice. But yeah, man, um, really nice being in New York, man. The weather is perfect right now. Um, one thing that I actually wanted to mention, so like you guys saw, I went to the Royal Sample Cell yesterday, right? And the line was just ridiculous. And it got me thinking uh, about, you know, my days in fashion where I was just so obsessed with discounts and sample sale. And I realized that like, you know, I'm so indifferent today. I don't know if it's because maybe I work in fashion. So, you know, I'm lucky enough to get some pieces at a discount, but also it's just like more over the years, I think I've disciplined myself to know that, you know, the, my objective, you know, even when I make these videos, my objective is always to just inspire you guys to build the perfect wardrobe that's long lasting. So when I, what I mean by long lasting is just grabbing pieces that you actually feel like you need within your wardrobe right and a lot of the times when it comes to things like a sample sell or a discount yes it's great to get items that are, that are heavily discounted but if you don't end up wearing it you know or end up wanting to sell it within a year then you never you never needed it in the first place so that's something that I've kind of become conscious of over the years where I want to buy pieces or introduce new pieces in my wardrobe once I've gotten rid of old, old items and even that new piece that comes in I want it to be long lasting I want it to be pieces that I can see myself wearing for years to come and this is something that I've always advocated on my channel right when I talk to you guys I always want to say that you know it doesn't matter if there's a sample sale or a discount if there's nothing that you need there you know maybe go check it out but always be disciplined into what you're consuming and the pieces that you're buying because if it's not serving you long term then you're just kind of wasting your money and that's something that I've had to kind of deal with where I didn't want to phrase the sentences like the relationship I have with clothes it's just most of the discipline that I have towards buying new pieces it's like especially for people that are into high-end fashion right it's you want to make sure that you're buying into pieces that are long lasting because this stuff can get quite expensive so yeah uh, I think I'll conclude this vlog here uh, and then part three will be dropping on Sunday. I want to thank you guys for always watching the videos and subscribing and liking. It really helps the channel, so I appreciate that. And yeah, uh, tune in for third part of the NYC vlogs on Sunday. Peace.